More fun than movies, this is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Check out the playlist for a different video. Subscriptions are a big boost. Hello, I'm Łukasz Juszczyk. I'm the game director and art director of Frostpunk 2. And welcome to the next episode of City Unbound. Today we will talk more about the city building aspect of Frostpunk 2. A city survival game has a lot in common with city building one. In Frostpunk 2, you expand your city by building entire city districts. The latter serve different purposes, for example, production or extraction, and need at least a few cells of space to construct. Yet, this is where the survival aspect takes precedence over building. The world of Frostpunk 2 might be a clean slate, but it's far from safe. That's why you have to think strategically while placing your districts. Not all of them will work well in close proximity to each other. For example, an industrial district might affect the well-being of a housing one. Increasing pollution level might contribute to rising tension among your citizens and in effect cause them to take to the streets. And that's not all. Building districts in certain areas might provide you with additional benefits. To mention just one, places shielded from the wind enjoy a special heat bonus. And this is a trait not to be treated lightly in a world ruled by an ever-present cult that might prove deadly. Want to know more? Stay tuned for the next episode of City Unbound, where we will discuss some other exciting aspects of Frostpunk 2.